Uh, I spent a bunch of time playing Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that game came out. How was it? Did it? It did. I, I spoke to a friend of mine who uh, we had been on the on the uh, hanging out in Discord laughing at Marvel train for like since the game's announcement. Yeah. And he s- straight up was like, wait, it came out? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm like, wow, that yeah. that bandwagon was way fun to get on. Yeah. But how is it? Like, for um, real. And side note, anyone yelling at me about Nier, like, please, I get it. I want to go through the first game first or at the very least watch the LP to know the context. How's that going? I'm going through your, your things. Is it, it shit? It's pretty dumb. Yeah. But it's fine. Tried. But I'm trying. But yeah. that's what I want to do first. So please. All right. Uh, the Marvel train. Oh, people are shitting on you for near because well, you're that, playing no, Marvel. Because, okay, no, no, no. Because yeah. it's like now Persona's over. Start the next of the fucking it giant it, crash. Okay. Mo- so I'm like that. Yeah. But I'm very aware that other people are not necessarily like that. Yeah. Like when when we finished the Persona Five uh, spoiler cast and yeah. we were walking out, I look over Willie and goes, "Now I can finally start SMT Apocalypse." And he goes, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> "Right, yeah. like I'm that kind of person." But like that's come on, that's ridiculous. So, but anyway, uh, Marvel Infinite is is a very it ha- it's the weirdest I've ever felt. <laughs> Playing a new fighting game. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and put a, put away the lulls for a second because I'm actually genuinely more interested in the reality of this. Why do you feel weird about it? Because it's everything that we've been like laughing at and going on about. It is all those things. It's all those things. Yeah. But at the end of the day, the gameplay is fine. Yeah. And the tag system, the new version of it, is really like. It's interesting, yep. and it lets you do fun things. I've seen some s- f- goofy shit with the stone system. It's such a fun. It's a, it's a fun way to like deal with like your whole team thing because they're letting you tag back and forth so frequently means that like you can you can do a lot of crazy shit that you couldn't do in the yeah. past. But it also slows the game down a lot. Mm-hmm. The game is nowhere near as chaotic as three or even two was. Yeah, because two and three both had a problem that we've talked about at length of like you're playing, like you're watching people play the game, and unless you're in there, you're looking at it going, I don't know what, what I, the fuck I, what, is happening. There, there are six. There are often matches like six characters are out on screen near constantly. Yeah, so it's like that's tough to follow. In this, at high level, you're watching four characters on screen yeah. doing things, and that's about it. And I mean, the, in general, the uh, the way it's sort of set up is that like. You don't have you don't like the, there's moments there's things that clutter the screen that like deliberately hide what you're doing so mm-hmm. that you can find a way to open them up or whatever. Sure, but it's never to the point of like strikers in addition to supers in addition to the DHCs and whatnot. Yeah. It, and so it reminds me a lot more of Marvel vs. Capcom one, mm-hmm. right? That's a good thing, mm-hmm. right? The feeling of MVC one is a good thing. I like MVC one a lot, especially with the return of crossover combination and mm-hmm. like two characters fighting on screen at the same time doing stuff, right? So you're doing all that, and you're, you know, and I, and I, and I mean, I'm just like trying to get the hang of like, okay, I'm using up my wall bounce, I'm using my ground bounce, I'm using my. You OTG. can only do one per combo. You can only do one per combo exactly. That's, that's fair. Yeah. And you're trying the most. Of, you're finding the most efficient way to like you know use all these things, and like you can go through. It's like you're creating a sentence, and then you're like the, there's punctuation. You can only use this many commas in a sentence without it, the con- without the sentence being awkward. You can only use one exclamation point. You get et cetera, et cetera. And so you 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 know, and like the placement of which you decide to use first, like whether you use the semicolon first or the hyphen, <laughs> yeah. determines like oh well, the scaling on the damage is higher or lower or yeah. whatever, right? Uh, or you can go for a reset, all that stuff. It's 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 the same old fun beginning of a of a hyper game. Yeah. Invent your own mix of Where and where the, the 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 sky's the limit on nonsense exactly. you can create. I found some really cool Spencer tech that like mm-hmm. no one else has seen or done or whatever that I'm like happy about like inventing. Yeah. So that's fun. At the same time, I've never yawned so hard every time I've like played the game, picked a character, and fought another team online or offline. Because I'm so bored with the roster already. <laughs> it's <laughs> that it's painful. It's and it sucks because I'm like, this is brand new. And you know, and like that exhaustion you get from like, I don't know, maybe eight to ten months in. Like I just remember under a, a year. really specific moment in time when people were like, man. 
wish like there was a Super Marvel, Marvel Super Marvel three or something, right? And then they said, "Hey, it's Ultimate Marvel!" And yeah. then all the characters got leaked out, and everyone, went, yeah! yeah, and excitement was rejuvenated. It feels like we're at that point immediately. It's instant. Like, like it's so funny to think about how they really do feel like function versus function mm-hmm. infinite because you're already like. Yeah, I know. This is what that character... Yeah, I know that. It's the same... Ca- so, like, so, like, to break it down, like, in the current roster of 30? Once it's 30? 30. Five are new. Six. Six? One, yeah. Who's the who's six? Uh, well, it's, what is it? Because I know on Capcom it's Jetta and Thanos, X. Jetta, Thanos, Jetta, X, uh... Gamora. Uh, Gamora, uh, uh, uh... Hold on. Ultron. Yeah. And there's one more. Is there? I don't think there is. I think it's five, man. People are saying six because Monster Hunter is going to come out like in a week or something. Yeah, 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 no, I think I think there's one more. But okay, regardless. Anyway, it's it's like eighteen to twenty percent of the roster is new, and all the others. Yeah, like and like and uh, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Yeah, you're right. Six. You're super right. Uh, but it's like. <laughs> It's not even that they're characters that have already been hyper fighting. It's not even that they're characters that have already that are long standing Capcom or, or Marvel characters. You know, it's that like of those eighty percent or seventy eight percent that yeah. are returning. Yeah, like ninety percent of that is returning from the last game. Right. So 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 what we have now because exactly because a character like Jetta's new, a character like Thanos is new, but he's been in the two D games, yeah. but it's it's new enough in the sense that he hasn't been in the last game. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, so you have like all that going on, and you have the feeling that this is almost like this is not Tekken Seven, this is Tekken Revolution, Bloodline Revolution. No 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 Tekken Revolution. Oh man, the movie. No, the the online oh, man, the free to play game, the online only free to play game, right? Uh, That's the feeling, right? This is this is the Soul Calibur Broken Destiny. That's come on, that that one's too much. But it's the feeling of it's not the next game. It's the in between where we took game. all the same stuff and then have a couple new things for you. Eliza's new, Eliza, Reddit, whatever, but. It's all the other there, Tekken man, characters. We, a, we had a we had a small discussion like last week, right after we finished the podcast about this. But it's not free to play, and it's <laughs> and it's like the the point that you brought up is something that I hadn't considered because we were talking about Spencer, right? Yeah, Spencer's a genuinely baffling reinclusion, the most confusing. Because yeah, go on. And and the point that Wooly brought up was that like okay, you're gonna use Spencer again. That's fine. He's a good fighter. He can you know he's got cool moves. Why not just do, use the character model from the other Spencer that you already <laughs> have as a, as a DLC? The red haired, the short DLC cro- like, rearmed Spencer. costume, like is there? Why don't you just do that? Why, like, what do you lose besides everyone's like ire? That that model already exists. Yeah, no. Why not have fucking? Uh, use the Dante or Virgil like Dark Knight costume and have it be Sparta instead of Any, da- anything, and just remix the the just anything, a little bit, anything. you know? Yeah. And nah, it feels fucking rushed, man. Yeah. Um. So you know, in the end, like uh, you just, it's this ultimate division of like you know how over the years there's always been the side of things where I'm like, I tend to be like, I understand the gameplay side of fighting games, and that's why I like. I lean towards that, and then we'd argue, we'd debate over like uh, the production or the casual, or like, casual like sort of yeah, like or like the 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 uh, presentation. And and over time, I've I've become more, I've become less into fighting games in comparison to what I was like five yeah. six years ago. So just pure surface versus mm-hmm. like the meat, you yeah. know. And like I'm always like, it's about the meat, guys. Yeah, you know, it's about the meat. And then, and then, like things coming back and forth, and like you go, but no, but it's important that the presentation keeps people interested. Otherwise, mm-hmm. no one wants to show up to eat your meat. That's right, right? And like here, it's the most extreme it's ever been, where it's like the meat is like it's not even super good. It's it's, it's good. It's, it's good. It's, it's good fun. Meat. It's fun yeah. new meat, right? But the, the 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 surface is just so shallow and boring that I can't fight so it's anybody or argue that anybody should go out and 
like buy that Steam version that fell off of the the charts in the first and three got days. Beaten by Fight of the Gods. That got beaten by Fight of the Gods, or the <laughs> fact that on it's like being super low, like on Twitch, like no one's watching it. Yeah, no one's streaming it. Everyone's just angry well, because uh, F Champ is just bodying everybody in, and they're in like terms of Twitch. Attackers. I mean, like this 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 problem is like death for Twitch viewership because it's like, why would you want to watch the thing that has no newness, no flat, uh, you know? And, and like like that's that's it. so it's just like fuck, like. This is real again. It's really the feeling of function versus function, where you're just like, okay, anyone who's out here staunchly defending the the meat, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the function missing the forest for the trees. Well, it's not even that. It's more that like even these people are having a hard time going like ah, the hype's just. Well, I mean, take take me for an example, there. right? I feel like I, I I fit in a really perfect place to be disappointed by this game, if that makes any sense. I buy almost every single fighting game that comes out of new of of significant status, right? Yeah. I buy every Capcom fighter, I buy every Namco fighter, I buy every I buy the Undernight in Birth and all that shit cuz I love fucking around with new characters and and doing a bunch of bullshit even though I don't I don't practice anymore. Yeah. You know, I I I play Tekken for a couple weeks and then I dropped it. But I I I love and appreciate fighting games. I just don't personally value the time that I put into them anymore. Right. When I look at Marvel Infinite like, I picked up Marvel 3 in a second. I picked up Ultimate Marvel 3 in a second. Because there's a billion fucking characters in that. And they all do crazy shit. And all the wind quotes and all yeah, the fucking yeah, yeah. shit going on. The celebration is still there. Yeah, and I love it. And I get like, oh man, Okami does this! Yeah. Ah! Or Amaterasu. And here I'm just like, why Why would I pick it up? Why? What character? Monster Hunter. Now there's Monster Hunter. But Monster Hunter is a deal. Like, I'm going to pay what? $94 total? So I can play Monster Hunter? Huh. And like, the, man, uh, Thomas uh, or Mom like fucking nailed it uh, when he was making fun of the game on Twitter. More like griping. It's like, why are all the new characters? I'm paraphrasing here, but he was basically pointing out like, why is it a, a, a nearly completely old cast with a bunch of new characters being DLC? Why didn't you just have the new the characters, new characters in, be in the roster and, and have the returning old favorites as DLC? Which everybody goes, yeah, I wanted my character Black back Black Panther at that point. and Monster Hunter figure prominently in the story, and they have multiple fights on their own stage. Yeah. And, the, was, uh, and the only way to guess <laughs> is that it's, like, time. You know? Like, they just didn't have the time well, or whatever. Well, uh, for Monster Hunter, I'm really cynical because I have the opinion that Capcom knew that Monster Hunter would push DLC sales in Japan. I guarantee there's hidden invisible reasons that... Uh, that explain exactly why the game's in the state it's in and justify like all the mistakes and and all the problems mm -hmm. but i but you can't help but just feel but at the end you should have just not done it this way <laughs> you know just but then just don't do it that way all right let's be fair let's try and be fair clearly the deal with marvel is put this game out and push the mcu yeah, clearly, like that. That is more than obvious. Sure, and that affects the roster, and that might affect the time that uh, they're able to put the product out in, and that forces you to cut corners and stuff like that. But I don't know, man. Like, I feel like even having less characters, but more characters being new, would have been preferable. You know, like, or I, I don't know. I mean, I don't... even X was a model in an ultimate. As a zero alt costume, so technically yeah. that model already existed too. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? You're right. Uh, anyway, it's just it's. I've never felt this weird like and, and, duality in this such in such a like. And because I'm like I'm basically I'm like okay, well here's where it's at. I'm playing this and I'm learning how to be like you know decent enough at it that if I'm ever caught in a in a room where. People are playing. You won't just shit on yourself. I can gra I can yeah. sit down, and then it's like, okay, we're playing this. All right, and I can sit down and play. Yeah, you know, and that's basically where we're at. And I'm like, yeah, I'll I'll get to that point, and then I don't know what else to say until something else interesting happens because I don't like I'm playing online and just going through the motions, and I'm like, every once in a while, someone will do a cool new thing, and I'm like, oh, that's interesting. But like, as soon as yes, no, that's your feeling. Because I've seen you play these kinds of games, and when you see something brand new and genuinely interesting, you don't go, oh, that's interesting. You go, oh, shit, look at that. That's cool. They just did a thing. Whatever. Instead, it's like, oh, that's... Yeah. It's like almost academic. And and you don't want that on week one. And, and more importantly, like, 
nine out of ten matches have a ca- like characters are popping up and I'm just rolling my eyes because I'm like, yeah, of course it's Dormammu and Dante. Yeah, sure, of course it's Cap and Ryu. Of course you're playing Zero and Mega Man. Duh, like, yeah. And I'm just like already at that point, and I'm like, oh yeah, look, it's Nova and fucking Iron Man, like all <laughs> Ultron. Hey, yeah, they're yeah. and I'm like, I'm like, and then the one time. I'm, I don't feel that way as I go. I see, like, every once in a while, they'll be like, oh, shit, someone's doing Jeddah and Hagar. Yeah. I'll be like, oh, yay, that's, that's fun. That's weird. Oh, there's Arthur and Thanos. Hey, that's fun. Okay, let's see what you got. Mm-hmm. And every other match is like, I'm just already sick. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I remember, uh, I remember when uh, King of Fighters 11 came out, and we were playing it. And I remarked to you that the roster felt really small. And that's because the raw and the, the King of Fighters Eleven has a fairly large roster, like it's huge. It's it's pretty fucking big. And you explain to me, it's like it's because you're playing three person matches. It's because you're seeing every character super often, uh, super in every match. There are six different people usually, so you're you're having that character yeah. fatigue yeah. in an accelerated rate. Yes, Marvel. I mean, it's only two per team here, but so many of them are all like Marvel was always going to have this accelerated pace. But now you don't even have the new blood in. So, like, I mean, I saw Max running Ghost Strider, and that's that's <laughs> co- that's that's good. That's fun. But, like, how many teams or combos that you're genuinely unfamiliar with in any way mm-hmm, mm-hmm. could there be now? I don't know. Yeah. Hey, I got a but, question, because I've heard uh, people talk about it. How is the music? Because uh, I've heard, I, I saw people saying that it was like some, it was fine in some places and like genuinely awful in some you, others. You know what my honest answer is? What I haven't noticed. Oh yeah. Okay. Great. That's... I straight up haven't noticed. All I can say is there's one cool thing I've noticed about the music that's that like is uh, I like is when you do your infinity search, mm-hmm. the character theme plays. Yeah, that's good. So whoever you're using, your main theme starts playing and it takes over the the uh, the track, mm-hmm. which is nice because that's kind of like Tatsunoko. Yeah, where they, when you tag in and it switches Absolutely. themes, I like that. That's a nice touch. Uh, outside of that, I have no, I haven't fucking okay, you know. But I get, but like there's so, but I'm definitely like I've had some fun. In the lab, I've had some fun online finding ways to fuck people up, and like you know, they've done a thing where like they added like one or two new moves that I'm like, oh, that's a creative thing. Spencer can throw out a grenade now and then like grapple, mm-hmm. and then the grapple grapples it and like uses it as an explosion when he gets up in your face. That's cool. There's you know and whatnot. Like uh, I th- I still think the space the the space, space stone. Yeah, yeah, spa- yeah. Putting him in the fucking box. Put him in the box is. The fucking it, coolest oh shit Oh, yeah. Ever. No, and there's some fun, dumb shit that comes out of that. When you put Hulk in the box and he does his gamma crush, you see him jump, and then it just glitches into him having the asteroid coming down. Oh, because he, he can't leave he the box. He can't leave the box. <laughs> there's some dumb shit, you know? Uh, I, saw, I saw a video of, like, uh, what, if, you can, if you put Captain America in the box and he's able to crouch punch you... He can get you in like into an infinite block string that you can't escape because you you he he his his crouching punch pushes him super far yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but like putting not... him in the box and letting him do that is a dumbass move because he once, catches you. Once anything hits ninety nine hits, they auto flip out. So yeah. that, that's their anti infinite system. Plus, also if you have two meters, you can jump in with your partner and, and combo break. Mm. Um, but there's gameplay in not not infinites but pseudo infinites because if you use like the time gem, which I do. It just makes all your attacks faster. Mm -hmm. And so you get into a point where you're like, I can hit uh, my hardest button and then combo into itself (laughs) or combo any move into itself. Yeah. So why would I try to do anything but go hard punch, hard punch, hard punch, hard punch, hard punch for like 20 seconds and then just do a super at the end of it? Why not? And you're like, that's the most efficient thing to do right now. So I'm just going to do that. And you're like, what? That doesn't look advanced That's or fancy. High level, There's man. no swag to that. It's just dumb, but it's the best way to to kill the guy right now, you know? Also, I've I've found like pe- like people doing like all kinds of crazy swag combos and setups and videos and stuff, but you also can just do like a one, two, three, four launch, one, two, three, four tag, one, two, three, four super, and do just as much. If not maybe <laughs> what, maybe two percent less or something? I've I like I've let like like people are trying to the whole thing is like you want to get your touch of death or yes, whatever. Yes, of course. And like anyone that can do like a combo that does over seven thousand is like holy shit! You I got hit really seven point four k with with Spider Man. Right? Yeah, I saw people talking about. And that. then I picked Thanos, and I went one two three four launch one two three four super OTG level three, and did eighty eight thousand 
or 8,800, which is almost full. And like, that's like ridiculous numbers for doing the most bread and butter basic shit, you know? Touch of death for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's, it's. Like I feel it's, like it's looking like that esports video is not gonna oh, not gonna man. pan out. Okay, so before, it's not gonna pan before out we move on, I want to talk about that for like a second. But I also want to talk about like the one the one little pinhole that has been you know ca- came out about the game's development is that Ruben Langdon thing. Yeah, where Ruben Langdon on Facebook is like, "Yeah, Dante looks like shit. It's really disappointing." Itsuno-san is very upset. He did they, not approve they this. They did not ask Itsuno-san if it was okay to use Dante, 100%. which is, like, really weird, actually. Yeah. Because that was, like, a holdup for earlier games that you would have to get the, the creator or the director of the project's permission to use their characters. Mm-hmm. And then, like, he's even, he's even talking about the script. is like, I did the best with what I got. Yeah. Hope you like it. And it's like, Ruben Langdon, I mean, you pointed out to me, it's like, he's not worried. He's the voice of Ken. He's the voice of Chris. He's the voice of Dante. Yeah. No, he's everybody. <laughs> he's he's Capcom's main man. He's, yes. He's, he's fine. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen to him. He can talk all the shit he wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but more importantly, you get that he's friends with Itsuno. Yes, he and, hangs out with Itsuno. And that's where his feelings are, are sync up, you know? And just, like, people internally unhappy. Yeah. Ah, what's up with that, man? Yeah. But yeah, no, that esports video fucking package is now like the funniest thing in the fucking world. It, it just it that that what reality were you expect? One where perhaps there were a reality in like infused by the gem is the one they were hoping to get because that life that they showed is not gonna I can, happen. For I can this tell game. you exactly how that happened. Do you want to hear how that happened? Development team very likely underneath their own constraints, right? Are aware that they're going to be putting out a product that they can be proud of in in the gameplay, but they're aware that it's going to be rough around the edges, right? And feel for the team and all that stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They send that up to the producer. Producer sends it over to marketing, right? Marketing is under the direct thumb of corporate who wants money, right? Wants, you know, exposure. Yeah. Marketing goes, okay, what do we have? Okay, this is a Marvel fighting game. All right, what's the history of our company with Marvel fighting games? Okay, lots of community, lots of groundswell. Street Fighter Fives has got a great tournament scene. Okay, let's push this tournament thing. Yeah. Completely absent from the reality of public opinion about the game, possible release, its its legs, etc. And every other and aspect of development. Whatever, hype, yeah. whatever fucking game came out, whether it be Marvel or Darkstalkers or whatever the fuck, yep. right? At this point in time, after Street Fighter's big tournament and the Capcom Cup stuff, yep. it was going to get that. Yep, 100%. no matter what. Yep, and it it just fi- it happened to fill. It happened the to slot. happen. Yeah, to Marvel and marketing is like Reality Stone, <laughs> and, and <laughs> tried their best, and and that thing leaked, and boy oh boy did that do them no favors, man. It makes it makes uh... so the, so I, I saw a complaint of that. It makes it look it makes Capcom look cocky. Right, it makes them look like they take that audience for granted, and I think that's unfair. I think marketing takes every audience for granted, yeah, for sure, easily, because that's their job, easily. But like, I don't think that falls on the developers. I think they probably did the best with the time because this game came out fucking fast, man, like real fast. Like it got announced like what six months ago, whatever, and yeah. it's out. So I don't know. All I can really say is, I guess, just like. You know, this definitely proves that in the battle of, you know, training stage versus this, this, <laughs> this, this scenario makes me understand a lot of people's complaints about SF5 a lot better. Complaints that I didn't understand or even appreciate about SF5. The gameplay it, stuff? No, it's presentation. Okay. The way that it released. Yeah. yeah. Stuff like that. Because SF5 and Infinite have the same problems. Just one is much more advanced than the other in those issues, right? Mm-hmm. SF5 has issues of, like, you know, uh, like, size of roster compared to the last game in the franchise, despite despite that mean you know that, like, re- reality is that new build system. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not what people feel like, exactly. right? Yeah, lack yeah. of modes, lack of... Like, think of how, like, and this is really lame, but, like, think of how barren the, the main menu is. Like, all these little things, <laughs> they they do add up. And Marvel is like this perfect example of good game, don't care. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's a good game. And I don't care at all. 
And the weird part to me is I always think about games like because because you know when you have because there can be games that come out that are like. 2D that are good games and people still don't care. Like, no one... There's no reason why, but Yadagarasu is not popular. No. But that's a very good game. It's great. And there's just no reason... I can tell you the reasons. It looks old. Okay. That's the reason. I guess. But is that it? Yes. Okay. And it's and it's a completely new IP with no existing fighters in it that people can recognize. Right. And... But, but like, at the same time, though, like... And, and, you know, almost the same can be said for, like, Fantasy Strike, which I'm enjoying on Steam. I'm having a ton of fun playing that, but that's not for everybody. Nope. And, like, the art... I think the art style is a lot of, you know, what people seem to not like about it and uh, things like that. But, you know, there's, like, a lot of just sort of, like, okay, what is a version of this that has something... Well, Skullgirls, I guess. Yes. Skullgirls is the version of that works, where it comes out, it's new, and it has enough going on so that even if you don't play it... Art style wise, you're like that's different and strong, so you mm-hmm. like what's happening. And gameplay wise, even if you don't care about the art, you're having fun, so mm-hmm. you have the best of both worlds. Not everything can be Skullgirls. Nope, uh, it certainly can't. And also, Lab Zero busted their ass to make Skullgirls. I mean, of course, like, of course, yeah, the story, you know. But you know, but no, I, I guess yeah. Just at the end of the day, like I've, I've, I've I feel hollow, and it's so weird because, like, you know, I just I'm I'm still playing it as much as I'd play any other fighter that's coming out right now. Mm-hmm. But I'm just the the enjoyment. It's like you know that first three months of enjoyment. Like it's almost like we cut those out of the picture entirely. Mm-hmm. And like I started like three months in or four months there, in. There's a definitive, you know, which means the half life is shorter than ever. There's a very definitive difference between the games Capcom puts out, where you can tell where resources went. Right, RE Seven resources went into that. Right. SF five, not nearly as many resources went into that, yeah. right? Monster Hunter, like you know, it's, I don't mean to break, but like you can tell, money's going into that, yeah. like all the different models and all that stuff, and the the way the environments, like that money, right? Yep. Marvel, n- no, and like I really hope, and because it's it's been not fighting game money, fighting game no money, right? I hope that doesn't continue. Because I think Capcom makes really good fucking fighting games and would be very disappointed to see them kind of shoot themselves in the foot by, like, kind of taking that audience for granted. Yeah. Because SF5, they absolutely took the Street Fighter audience for granted. Well, it, 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 it's it, the casual audience. That's, yes, I'll they say. took the casual. They're they like, the, Street yes. Fighter, pe- lo- people love Ryu. And it's like, uh, people love a little bit more than Ryu. There's more there. But the roster picks that 5 had were fucking good. I agree. They, so that problem is not the same as Marvel. No, at all. it's not because those are all solid ass, interesting returning like, characters. That the we irony seen. is that SF four had the ro- like a similar roster problem to Marvel, but it had a big cast when it came out, so it was fine. Right, right, right. Um, Only four new characters, very similar to Marvel, but I mean, for but a bunch of returning faces you haven't seen in a while, and like old favorites. You know, it would be yeah. like characters that were only in Marvel 1 or Sonson so, Son and Ruby Hart also, coming back also, and shit also like that. Also, SF4 is the return of fighting games. Yes, right. Period. Yeah. So that gets a whole other whole other massive factor, you know. And I mean, it, like, do you remember when Battleborn came out? And the weekend that, or the week that Battleborn came out, the weekend prior, I believe it was, was... The first weekend that Overwatch had a free beta weekend for everybody. Mm -hmm. And how that just, like, I remember asking, I think on the podcast, like, the fuck does Blizzard, what's Blizzard's fucking problem with Gearbox? Mm -hmm. They would fucking, like, no. Jam their thumb in their eye like this. And I feel like that, that direct ass comparison. Squeeze that bitch. Like, it just, it fucked Battleborn. Like, yeah, absolutely. Because they said we can, they and said you know what we can. Because fuck them, right? <laughs> yeah. And DBZ fighters, or in the meantime, did the same thing. In the meantime, yeah, yeah, beta they weekend. held their beta weekend. Yeah. Two days before Marvel came out, yeah, so yeah, that yeah. the comparison would be fresh and direct. In- and guess what? Oh, I know exactly what Capcom did to Arc System Works. They made fighting games for 10 years longer than that. But But, So in this last week of playing, like, fighting games, I jumped up and and down in my seat a whole bunch 
And that was not due to anything anyway, yeah, in Marvel. It wasn't due to the game that you bought. It was due to Wolf Fang fucking fist. Yeah. Because we got that Yamcha footage coming in. And like it is it is in Arc System Works advantage to press that direct comparison oh, as, as hard as they can. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And it like They know. Fuck. And this is a weird situation because DBZ is sorry, D, Dragon Ball Fighter Z existing straight up makes Marvel worse. Like, yes. Well, that the, was if the, you remember the moment that the tide turned. Yeah. It was. It wasn't when Marvel got announced. Nope. It was when Dragon Ball got announced that everyone went fuck Marvel. Yeah, that was the moment. And, Prior and, to that, like, everyone was like, "Ah, oh, yeah." Okay. And I don't mean this in terms of perception. I don't mean this in terms of subjectivity. Yeah. I mean the 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 existence of a of what is clearly a more I'm going to say a, a product that more effort is going into straight up makes the other one worse not by comparison but like uh, overtly like because you know that it can be done better because i can see it over there right i can see it. i mean i think it's still within the realm of perception sure but but it's 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 so tangible right like if, if db if dragon ball fighter z didn't exist marvel would be in a better place it would feel better you'd be less tired of it your complaints right now would feel less sharp because you wouldn't have such an obvious direct comparison. I would like people are getting excited over I would Yamcha like, and T and TN. <laughs> yeah. I would like Luffy more, Luffy more if Ace didn't exist. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. Exactly. Gotcha. Okay. Guess what? Luffy's really cool I'm for sure a while. He, I'm sure. And he then is. Ace shows up <laughs> I'm sure. and you're like, get out of my face, Luffy! <laughs> Every single picture of that dude, I'm like, wow. Can you be my main character, please? <laughs> so much cooler. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. 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 It's, um, it's the fucking cute lamb in The Simpsons, man. Yeah. 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 Anyway, I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm almost exhausted already talking about it. And, like, you know, shout outs to anyone who's keeping it down. Anyone who's having fun with the game is fine. I know Max is having a really good time with it. Max and always has a good time. Yeah, man. He's man's just... born with a smile on his face. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And, like, there's some definitely fun to be had here. Oh, but... Max has got a uh, fucking nominated for the streamies. That's as awesome. best streamer, man. Damn straight. You should go vote for him. Yeah. He's great. Damn straight. Do it. Do it five times. Don't do it five times. No, seriously, don't. Okay, no. Because don't do that it. could cause him to get disqualified, probably. Oh, okay. Hey, well, it looks like you have a million votes from five guys. Six people, maybe. Right. Don't do that. Okay. Vote fair. Yeah. 